Ah, kia ora no tātou, i roti te manaki tango to tātou ariki Matua tama waira tapu ane hera pono me te maanga i tautou ko mai ai nei āke nei ai Ah, no reira, kei konei mātou ki te taha o tēnei o ngā kai kōrero O konei, ki te kōrero mātou e pāna ki etahi o ngā āhuatanga kōrero pē o te whanga e hu So this is Marama Tanga in a minute and we've broken today's final presentations into eight different sessions. So this is our fifth session, Fano, and I was just able to catch Jay Wilson before he made his way off. So, Tēnā koe te rangatira, and if you can, please um, give us a bit of a whakamaram in terms of the meaning of uh, the whangehu and what significance the whangehu has for uh, the kaupapa of Ratana. Kapai, so tēnā koutei te iwi, tātou katoa i roto i te rāi mainga tia te wairua tapu e rā nui mo tātou te iwi mōre. Uh, so the Wangaihu River, Wanga Ehu, uh, Wanga literally meaning a bay, Ehu to bless yourself. Uh, and the kōrero goes, Te Ehu Tia Te Waika Wangaihu. And um, the reason why that's important is because you would bless yourself at the Wangaihu River, because traditionally, before all of the pollution, uh, it was naturally sulf- sulfuric. And as a naturally sulfuric river, um, you go to that river to get healed with any skill ailments, any haki haki, any eczema, uh, dermatitis, anything like that. And so that's why it's called Ranga Ehu, Ranga Ehu, um, for the blessings that you receive. Also, that natural sulfuric uh, nature uh, used to mean that it was a great river for whales to come every migration um, because there's heaps of kai at the mouth. And you talk to anybody 35 years ago and backwards. They all talk about how much kai there was in the Wangaihu before the pulp mill got established upstream. And so the phenomenon of having the two whales beached at the mouth of the Wangaihu is um, not only significant from a wairua sense when Ratana saw those, but also um, Tukuiho. For centuries, whales have been coming to the Wangaihu because its other name is Te Waiu o Te Ika Maui. Because it's the only river of its type in New Zealand, and the only river of its type for Tika Maui, and so the whales would come in and it would feed them like a breast milk would feed a child. And the whales would bring their babies into the Wangaihu mouth to feed on all the kai there. So that's the Wangaihu, really significant not only for its um, natural healing qualities, but also the fact that Tahu Kotiki Bire Muratana was there fishing. Uh, when, when the two whales were beached, one representing Te Arepa and the other representing Te Omeka. Tēnā koutou, kia ora tātou. Kia ora, so, ai, mi tēnei kia koe, te rangatira moe nei kōrero, uh, ko kōrero te e koe. Um, o te rā kia koutou, te honga mātaki, mihi ano tēnei kia koutou i tēnei rā, nā manaki tango i honga mano ki rongi a tātou katoa, ko te maanga hei tautou komai, ai nei, ake nei, ai. Ai, kia ora tātou.